Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotac and Apple recently released an advertisement stating that iPhone 15 series has more than enough storage, basically for all of your photos, videos, apps, and more. It's called Don't Let Me Go, and that's great, but sometimes data is just using up all of that storage for no reason. Throughout the life of iOS 17 and even with iOS 16 and prior versions, many experience this same bug where again, your storage data is used up for no reason. So I wanted to walk you through some of the steps you can do to try and fix that issue and gain back your storage without just simply restoring your iPhone and starting over. Now to find system data that's located under settings. If we scroll down to general, then we go to iPhone storage. You may have to give this a moment to load, but then scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see system data. Now this phone in particular actually was at 16 gigabytes and I was able to drop it down to eight gigabytes. Some people have it using over 150 gigabytes at the top here where system data is just taking up everything. So the first thing we can do is clear some history out. If we go into our settings and then we go down to Safari, scroll down to where you see Safari and then further scroll down to where it says clear history and website data under this, we'll have some options for the last hour today, today, and yesterday, or all history. I would recommend all history. However, if you do clear this, just make sure you have your password saved as you'll probably have to log back into certain websites. But if we just clear it here, we've cleared it and it clears across all devices that are synced over iCloud. Sometimes that will free up storage and give you a little bit of extra storage where you didn't have it before that doesn't work for everything. But again, you can keep checking and see if system data has changed. The next thing has to do with photos. If you're using iCloud photos, this again can have the same effect. If we go into our settings, tap our name at the top. If we go into iCloud under iCloud, you'll see photos. Under photos, we can turn this off and turn it back on. However, before you do this, make sure all of your information is synced or you have a copy of your photos as if we tap this or switch off the option to sync the phone, it will ask us if we want to remove it from the phone or download photos and videos. So make sure you either download all of them, or if you do remove them from your phone, you'll have a copy of them on iCloud.com. You can verify that by going into your web browser, going to iCloud.com and seeing your photos there. Just make sure you do that before you remove anything from your phone. Once you've done that, turned it off and then turned it back on. Again, this can actually help with that overall system data. The next thing you can do that's very simple is to restart your phone, but with a hard reboot or a force restart. To do this, what you'll do is press volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the power sleep wake button. So we'll do that together up, down, press and hold the power sleep wake button. Give it a moment. Do not slide it to power off. Just keep holding the power sleep wake button again, keep holding. It will reboot like that and you can keep holding it or just wait. If it's not doing that, wait till it's shut off, but it should come back up with the Apple logo and then start to reboot all over again. So we'll give it a moment to boot here. And this should again, sometimes help with that system data it sort of clears things out as it starts up. Once it's started back up, of course, you can go back into your phone and see if it's helped with system data at all. Now on mine, I don't expect it to actually help with that since it wasn't using a ton of it, but again, it may have to reload, recalculate it, and it actually did drop it down just a little bit. So the overall system data went down a few hundred megabytes or so. The next thing we can do is delete some apps and reinstall them, which can actually clear a lot of storage with meta apps in particular, whether that's Instagram or maybe WhatsApp, something along those lines. If we clear those out and we don't have a ton of data we need to save there, just remove it, delete the app in general, and then we can go back and reinstall it. Of course, we'll need our login information to make sure that it comes back up and then we can get back in. But once you do that, it often seems to help, not just apps such as WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook threads, but apps such as TikTok or YouTube. Sometimes they use a lot of data and that seems to help clearing it out. So again, once you've got that, just go back in and then grab the app you need and you can reinstall it or maybe not use it altogether. Another thing is if you're using messages and not an app like WhatsApp, you can turn some of the options off to help clear some of that information out. In fact, this seems to help a lot for a lot of people. If we go into settings and we'll go back out of storage here and scroll down to where we have messages, 
go into messages within messages, go down to message history and where it says, keep messages, you'll want to change this. Now, keep in mind, this will delete some of your messages, but if you have things you've already saved, maybe you have some memories from some loved ones you'd like to save. If you've done that already, sometimes you can do it with a third party app. You can change this to one year, but it will warn you that messages older than one year will be permanently deleted and you cannot undo this action. If you don't mind that, go ahead and change it to 30 days or one year. And this usually clears up a lot of data for a lot of people. So that's something, again, you want to make sure you have a backup if you care about the messages you have. If not, just switch it to whatever you've got and you're good to go from there. Another thing you can do is to stop apps from saving local backups, basically stop them from syncing to iCloud so that they're no longer saving backups here and maybe just syncing with your own provider. If we go into settings, and then we go to our name at the top, again, go into iCloud. Within iCloud, we can go to Manage Account Storage. Under Manage Account Storage, give it a moment to load, and once it loads, go into your Backups option. Under Backups, again, give it some more time, and then we have some options here, where we wanna select the device we're currently using, where it says this phone. Give it a minute to load again, it'll take just a moment here, and it will show you everything that's backing up. So again, give it a moment, and here you'll see all of your apps that are backing up to the cloud. They'll keep a local copy here, then sync it. If you don't care about it syncing, whether that's WhatsApp or something else, you may want to turn this off. And it also shows you how much data it's using. So if we turn off, maybe let's turn off WhatsApp on this phone. And it says, do you want to turn off WhatsApp backups and delete the backup from data from iCloud? So if you don't, of course, don't turn it off. But with certain apps, you may not care about this and they could be using a tremendous amount of storage. So here we have iMovie or files or this one in particular, I'll just turn it off. And that was 649 megabytes or 640 to 650 megabytes. So again, go back into your storage under general, iPhone storage. And if we scroll down, I've dropped it down again. So it keeps dropping down as I'm going through this process. One really quick way to clear out some system data is on phones that support ProRes. There's actually a function that will do this very quickly if you have a lot of system data in use. All you need to do is go into your camera and if you have ProRes turned off, turn it on and it will start to clear some of that data depending on how much storage you have used up. If you don't have a lot, it won't clear it. But if we go into this phone, let's see if we can get the same thing here. If we turn it on, you'll see it says freeing resources and this actually will clear up some of that system data and free it up very quickly. Now, again, this is only on phones that support ProRes, but it's a great way to free that up quickly if you want to do that. So you'll see the time will actually increase as far as what storage time we have if we record in ProRes. And now it says free resources. So it allows you to do it over and over. And on that phone, if we go into storage, scroll down, you'll see we have about seven gigabytes in use, but again, we can free that storage up. If we need it, it will free it up very quickly. Now, the final thing is if your system data is fairly large and you're trying to reduce it still, and it hasn't shrunk down like mine under about six gigabytes or so, we can walk through a set of steps that will help clear that out. Now, keep in mind, this may not work 100% for everyone, but it seems to work for some people, but is a little bit more complicated. The first thing we need to do, though, is close all of our apps. Once all of our apps are closed, the next thing we need to do is turn on airplane mode and then turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I like to go in and go into settings and then turn them off specifically like this where they're fully off. So make sure they're both off. You can see them off here. And then the next thing we need to do is very important. Make sure that if we go down into messages, go to the same area we were in before where it says keep messages under message history and make sure this is on forever. You can change this back later, but make sure it's on forever while you're doing this, these steps, or you could lose some of these messages. Once we've done all of that, now we can start actually trying to clear some of this data. And what we do is we go into our settings, then we go to general, and then we go down to date and time. Under date and time, turn off set automatically. Then under date and time, we want to change the year to one year ahead from right now. So it's currently 2024. Let's change it to 2025. Go back. You'll see here, if we go back into our date and time, it's 2025. Now we wait about a minute or so. We can wait one to two minutes. And once we've done that, we can check our system data again. And if it hasn't cleared out, there's another step we can do as well. After it's been a minute or two, let's go and check our system storage or our iPhone storage. So we'll give it a second. It will load everything. We'll scroll down. I'm at 7.48 gigabytes, so it will change. And if this actually goes up or doesn't change at all, 
close out of your system settings, go back in, then again, go to general, and then we can go to our storage and wait another minute and see if it's cleared after that. If it has, the next thing we can do is change the actual time and date to three months ahead from now and not one year. So again, we'll go back in and then we'll switch back to 2024. Once we've switched that, we'll go three months ahead and then we'll select July 5th. Again, we'll wait about a minute or so and see if it clears any of that out. Now, again, you can do this over and over until it clears out, but usually those first steps I showed you take care of most of it. But again, this can help as well. So we'll give it another minute or so and then check it. Once it's been about a minute or so, now let's go back, go into iPhone storage and then check it again. Now it may stay the same. It may vary slightly. It actually just bumped up, but for some people, this will clear out some of your data. Mine is pretty low already. And keep in mind, this is actually cached data. So sometimes this will go up and down as the iPhone is calculating different things in the background, preparing backups and much more, but this is okay if it's using about seven to even 20 gigabytes. But if it's taking up all of your storage, of course, that's unusual. And when you would actually need to perform these different steps, usually the clear history issue fixes a lot of this as well as the turn off iCloud and others. So once all of this is done, go back to your date and time, switch it back to set automatically, turn off airplane mode, and then turn back on your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth if you're using those and you're good to go. Those are all of the different steps that should help regain some of that system storage. And it helped with mine specifically with turning off some of the backups, deleting and reinstalling apps. All of those things typically help. Let me know if you've tried any of these and what your results were in the comments below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.